Hello everyone, welcome to Cam's I Am A Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the basket weave stitch. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. How is everyone doing on today? Welcome back to my channel. For this tutorial, you can use any size yarn or any size hook that you want. I'm going to chain a multiple of 10. So I'm going to make 28 cha 20 chains and I'm going to add an additional 8 chains to that. So make any number multiples of 10 and then add 8 and I will be back. Okay, so now we have, I have my 28 chains. I am going to skip three. And then in that fourth stitch, that fourth chain, I'm going to make a double crochet. I'm going to make a foundation row of double crochet. If you do not want to do that, you do not have to. It is not a requirement for this stitch. I just like to have some sort of foundation row, whether it's a single crochet or a double crochet. So I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm back. I'm going to chain two for my new subscribers. I only chain two for my double crochets. So now the chain counts as a double crochet. You're going to skip the first stitch and go right into your next stitch with a double crochet. So you're going to make four double crochets going across. Do not count that chain, even though it counts as a double crochet. It does not count here. Make four double crochets and then chain one do not skip any stitches go right into the next stitch and make another four double crochets going across and that is this pattern for row two four double crochets chain one four double crochets do not skip any stitches except in the beginning when you make your double crochets because that chain that you make counts as a double crochet. So I'm going to continue with this pattern, four double crochets, chain one, four double crochets, and I'll meet you when I get closer to the end. Okay, so I'm back and I'm making my last few double crochets here. Make sure that you go into that final stitch, that last chain from the previous row, or rather the first chain from the previous row with a double crochet because it does count as a double crochet. So that is what your second row should look like. Now we're going to move on to row three. So go ahead and chain two and turn your work or chain three if you want to. Again, go ahead and skip that. Well, no, we're going to go into our pattern now. Sorry. So now we're going to make a front post double crochet. So you're going to skip that first double crochet because your chain counts as a double crochet and go right in. So the way you make a front post double crochet is you insert your hook in and come out the back side of that crochet, that double crochet, and make a double crochet. Now, if this is too fast for you, I do have a tutorial on how to front post and back post double crochet, and I will link that in this video. So you make your four front post double crochets going across. Chain one. And now we're going to make four back post double crochets. So go in the back way. And again, if I'm going too fast for you, go ahead and you can look at that front post and back post double crochet tutorial. So I'm going to make four back post double crochets here. Oops, <laughs> and then one more. And chain one. Now back into the front post double crochet and you're just going to alternate these stitches. That's why we put that chain one in there so we can have some space in between those stitches in between those four front post and back post double crochets. So make your front post double crochets here. Chain one. Do a back post double crochet and I will meet you when we get closer to the end. And for my new subscribers, I normally try to meet you at the end just in case there's a different step that we need to make at the end of the row. So I'll see you when I'm done. 
Okay, so now I am making my back post double crochets. That's two. And if I am going too fast for you and I'm ahead of you, just go ahead and pause the video and meet me, you know, go ahead and start back over when you get to the end. Or you also have the option of slowing this down. You can slow this video down in your settings. So now I'm making my last double crochet here. And now I'm going into that chain from the previous row. Try to get your hook right up into that top stitch and that top chain. And go ahead and make your last double crochet so that is your three rows of your basket weave stitch now we're going into I think this is row three and go ahead and turn your work Now we're going to continue on. So the way that this stitch works is for your first three rows, you're going to do it the same way. So we're going to go back into our front post double crochets. You do it the same way for three rows. So into go in and uh, into the first ones with a front post double crochet. And you can always tell that because your stitches are at the front. Your stitches are poking out or bulging out the front so you can tell that these are your front post uh, double crochets make sure you chain one when you make your four now go into that back post double crochet just like the next one is and you just keep repeating this pattern across make sure that you are chaining in between each of those four front post double crochets or back post double crochets that you are making you want to make sure that you have that a good distinctive gap in between that is why we put that chain one in there so i am i think this is my last one here yes and now i'm going to go ahead and chain one and then go into my front post double crochets so now continue making these this pattern this way these are your front post double crochets when you've done these chain one go into your back post double crochets and so on so I'm going to continue on and let me know if you would rather I speed up or cut the video let me know that's that's important I would like for you to be able to get everything so let me know that I'll be back okay so we are back and now I'm at the end of the row and just like before we're gonna go ahead and put a well I see I'm making another back post double crochet I had one more left and now I'm gonna go ahead and do not chain you don't have to chain just go right in and put your double crochet it's just like we did in the first part in the beginning we started off with a double crochet and then we made our four double crochets so this is what it should be looking like so far Now we're going to move on to the next row. So chain two or three, whichever you prefer. And now go ahead and you're going to change it up. So as you can see, you see your double crochet, your front post double crochets here. Now we're going to switch up the pattern. This is what makes that basket weave pattern. So because these are your front post double crochets, you want to make a back post double crochet. So that is what gives you that distinctive look, that basket weave look, is that after the third row, you're going to change up your stitches. So if you have a front post double crochets, when you get to that fourth row, you're going to go and make back post double crochets of those front post double crochets. So I've made those four and chained one and now I have these in the back and I'm going to go in with these with a front post double crochet. And that's pretty much the pattern. You just want to remember that after every third row you want to switch it up. So if you start when you turn your work, if you have front post double crochets, you want to go ahead and 
uh, make double back post double crochet sorry and remember always chain one in between mm -hmm. each of your four. Oh, my phone gets me every time sorry so i'm going to continue with my pattern here i'm making my back post double crochets and then in the next section i will make front post double crochets and again as i said earlier you just repeat this row for three rows and then in your fourth row you want to go ahead and switch it up and that's how you get your basket weave stitch so i'm going to continue and i will meet you at the end Okay, so I'm on this last section here, and they are back post double crochets, so I'm going to make front post double crochets. And the same as always, when you get to the end and you've made your four, just make a double crochet into that last stitch. Okay, and goes that double crochet, and that's it. So now you'll do two more rows of this same pattern, and just keep repeating every third row, every fourth row, you will change up your pattern so that you can get that basket weave look pattern. Okay, so I just added a few more rows so you can get that full effect of what it should look like. And that's it for your basket weave stitch.